Haymakers. So if you are watching this in 2020, then stick around. If not, then you may as well skip because what I'm going to say will not make any sense or at least it's not going to be one of your concern. Uh, be thankful for that. Now, we all know that the virus is just taking over the world and we are in a very disadvantage situation now we have two choices either put our minds together and make solutions and not wait for the government because uh, let's be honest they cannot help all of us or we can just start using guns and basically decreasing the population now the reason why you're watching this video is because of this little guy that i made now this is an automatic uh, soap machine you can put uh hydraulic uh gel right here so you can um this, this guy right here so you can keep your hands safe you can uh, keep yourself safe and this is very convenient if you want to put it on a place where a lot of people are sharing a house or sharing um, a company or something and you don't want everyone to just put their hands on the you know the handle and potentially spreading the virus now this is a very strong mechanism because it uses a servo motor uh, this is an mg99r motor high torque servo motor uh, which means that it's not gonna have any problem um you know squeezing the gel out of this and it is very strong now this bottle it can come off so you can refill it or you can change i made um uh, support right here so you can just stick it in and it's going to stay there forever now of course i'm gonna show you in a minute how to make uh, the mechanism works and how to build your own but in a nutshell so we have uh, an ultrasonic sensor right here which can uh, detect the distance of your hands away from it so i put the distance between 10 and 6 centimeters and we have the brain right here which is a microcontroller now some of you will say this is an overkill yes i could have made a simple version but i made this under 24 hours yep i made a challenge to myself after i saw um kids in mit i guess uh, making something similar but not similar similar functionality i said to myself okay if they could make that i can make this in, uh, in under 24 hours which i did so uh stop talking and let's start building now because i want this project to be as easy as possible i decided to only use 3d printer parts which by the way you are going to find them in the link in the description now please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and maybe thumbs up because this helped the video now moving on i actually had a small problem with my printer now it printed like 20 centimeters then the filament got stuck because well it's bad filament so what i did is i sanded the parts and used it super glue now some people will say why using super glue let me tell you something super glue and pla work miracles yes they can bound super well it's like it was never two pieces now of course i changed the design so you don't have to mess around with super glue now i made all the parts in, into one big part so this is gonna be easier for you to print plus it's gonna be one part so normally it should be stronger now this is something that you need to do you need to super glue the part that have the servo motor in with the part that you just printed this is very easy to do now i did not want to print them as one whole part because the size of your bottle would change so i give you the flexibility to have a bigger or smaller size bottle and you can just use super glue to your convenient now the last piece is to glue this piece into the base and this should have been the end but i have a small problem here the base is flexing so much so what i did is i printed another piece which is thicker then i glue it together now you don't have to worry about this i made changes so it is nice and strong now the system is stronger than ever so this should work because there is so much stress i was afraid that this piece will come up so what i did is i reinforced it again with super glue then i used hot glue gun now hot glue gun and pla they work together in a very nice way because let's be honest both of them are plastic and because hot glue is very hot it actually melts some layers of the pla so it stick and bounds very well of course for more security you can use epoxy or you can just print them in a very one piece but this means that you will have a lot of support aka a lot of wasted materials which is something that i wanted to stay away from 
Now on the electronics, we only need an ultrasonic sensor with the Arduino as a brain for the system. Now we need some small jumper wires to hook the servo motor to the Arduino and we need the long jumper wires to hook the ultrasonic sensor to the Arduino. Now to fix the Arduino and the ultrasonic sensor, I used double sided tape which works very well. It is very strong. You can actually lift the Arduino and the system and the tape will not come off. Now let's have a quick look at the code. Now we imported the servo library. We put rig and echo pins. Now we define the servo, our servo and we put it on pin number six. Now the code is very simple. When the distance of your hand is less than 10 centimeters and more than six centimeters, this cycle will work. So basically the servo motor will hit the bottle, then it's going to go up, then hit the bottle again, then it's going to go up and it's going to stay up. So it only works when the distance is between six and 10. And of course it's going to do two cycles because I thought that one cycle is um, not enough. Of course you can do one, you can do three, you can do whatever you want. And how we calculate the distance is really simple. So we know that distance is equal to velocity multiplied by time, right? So we have time, this is duration, and the velocity is actually the, the velocity of uh, sound. Now we divide this with two because we are actually measuring the time or the distance two times. So we need to divide it by two. And this is how we get our, uh, our distance. Now, of course, this code is very used using obstacle avoiding robot which we will do in the future so stick around and i hope this was very helpful of course uh, you can uh, leave a thumbs up you can tell me what's the problem if the video is not good uh, if the audio is not good and yeah see you in the next video Now, I hope you like the project and if you have any more ideas, put them in comment. Uh, if you have something, you know, to, uh, to help uh, prevent the virus from spreading, please put your ideas in comments. I will try to make as much uh, project as possible to help as much people as possible. And you should do that. And yes, please consider subscribing to the channel and see you in the next project. Peace.